Over the last six months, my team and I have been checking out your best loved restaurants from thousands of nominations. Tonight, the competition continues with another of your top culinary favourites, Chinese. Chinese food is one of the great cuisines of the world. Top Chinese chefs use techniques and flavour combinations that you won't find in any other cuisine. There's a Chinese restaurant on nearly every high street, and there's an incredible range, from small family-run outfits to Michelin-style fine dining. Please, can have the noodles, please? Thank you, darling. We tend to think of Chinese food as being all about chow mein and special fried rice, but great Chinese restaurants serve food that's as sophisticated and complex as anything you'll find in a posh French restaurant. I've chosen two fantastic restaurants to battle it out for a place in the semi-finals. Tonight, from Mayfair in London, it's the crazy culinary genius of Kai. No, my style of cooking is the new modern Chinese. As a chef, we need to cook from our heart. Versus the best of the Northwest, Blackburn's You and You, a brilliant family-run restaurant. Let the food do the talking. Oh. Earliest memory of food was just cooking with my father. <laughs> he said, oh, you can't reach the cookers, so stand on these four cases to lift yourself up. I can only choose one Chinese restaurant to go through to the semi-final, so they must prove to me beyond all doubt that they are the most worthy contender. I'm going to subject both restaurants to three challenging tests, starting with a coach load of 30 guests, all arriving and ordering at the same time. Every restaurant's worst nightmare. First, I'll sashay into Mayfair to sample the avant-garde delight on offer at Michelin star Kai. Where is he? Chef? I like to... I'm a nice you. You look like you've just come with a Chinese boy band. Look at that hair. <laughs> huh? Incredible. Superstar. I know. <laughs> you are a superstar. Kai's kitchen is led by Alex, the demanding head chef. He's a perfectionist who runs his kitchen with a rod of iron to ensure his sophisticated dishes are spot on every time. How many times I'm, I'm told you? Fuck, man! Alex honed his skills in some of Asia's top five-star hotels before being poached by Kai's ambitious owner, Bernard. The intention was to change people's perceptions about Chinese restaurants. They're trying to reinvent Chinese cuisine, and they put a 21st century twist on it. Amongst Kai's bold and unusual dishes is a unique liquid version of a lamb shank. Now, that does not look like a lamb shank in there. So is it supposed to be like a lamb shank soup, or...? Yes, right. yes. It's, it's one of those dishes which catches people out by surprise. So a lot of people absolutely love it, and some people don't like it. I've just never had a lamb shank like that before. No, no, yeah. absolutely not. Um, if you're going to serve that today, obviously on the menu, make sure the customers understand what it is before. Yes. I don't want them disappointed. It tastes delicious. It's just a really strange way of executing yeah. it. I love these guys. They are very, very creative. And this food is out there. And I just hope that my diners get it and love the experience. Kai will need to be on top of their game to survive my ultimate pressure test. Two hours, two courses. Yeah, I'm going to be over everything. I'll be in the kitchen, I'll be in the dining room, and I'll be watching and listening to everything. So make sure that you give my diners an experience never to forget. Normally, bookings are staggered to take the pressure off the kitchen, but not tonight. My 30 diners will push Kai to the edge and give them a chance to shine. <laughs> On Alex's ultra-modern menu tonight is a choice of three starters. Wasabi prawns with mango and basil seeds, steamed scallops with ginger and spring onions, and Kai's unusual take on a lamb starter. Can you have braised lamb shank for braised lamb shank? Can't give you a whole lamb shank, you'll eat nothing else. With such radical dishes, my guests will need a clear explanation when they order. It's got the flavour of lamb shank, but it actually comes as a soup. Get ready to go. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Five, five, six, five, 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 six. Get ready, your uh, lamb flare. The first orders hit the kitchen, and it sounds like head chef Alex is launching a full-scale military assault. China, China, I'm a I'm a I'm a Are you OK, Alex? Yeah, OK. Yeah. yeah. And uh, what's the paper for table five for the starter? Hey, what's that, big bro? Two. One. Yeah, go. Yes, table seven. Yang Jing, the Do you have any uh, neurofen? I've got a headache. Why is everyone shouting? Yang Jing, the Why is everyone really shouting? Why is everyone really shouting? No, no, because uh, the, the the order. I need to coordinate. Just moments into service, and it's clear that Kai's unusual first course isn't going down well with my diners. No. They don't want lunch. They want to change to scallop. 
Ooh. The description of it wasn't quite what I expected. Okay, sh that should have been explained to you before you're always. Yeah, I apologise for that. So I'd like, if possible, to change this for the scallop dish. Yeah, take a five. Um, this, uh, the lamb shank was too wet. I did explain it was a wet dish, like a thick soup scallop, but I'm the one that um, changed it for the scallop, so I've ordered it on table five. What, Mr. Table? Table five. Mate, thank you, thank you, you need one of my diners just complained about the lamb shank. Gloopy, soupy, and not what they expected. Sadly, exactly what I predicted. Liquid lamb shank may be a step too far for my guests, so I hope Alex's amazingly sophisticated main courses are going to impress. He's working his ass off to make soy and honey marinated lamb spiced with chilies, and an extravagant lobster dish scented with crisp curry leaves and cooked with lemon, chili, and shallots. <laughs> Now front of house is getting in a muddle. I didn't know where to start because yours hadn't come. <laughs> that is our starter with the main course. Nothing seems to be coming out together. We can't keep a table hanging for seven minutes without anything else arriving on a day like today. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, okay. Um, not it. Thank you. One, take that. One thing, my thing. Let's we do the new all every for you, okay? Fuck you, yo, man. I yo. Who called away the main course if they haven't finished the starters? No, they finished it, but they wanted another scallop. So, no. You can't send a starter and then 10 seconds later send the main course. I can you? I get you. So, my question originally was who called away the main courses? I did. Right. Get Just put here. I will handle it. Alex, is it always this crazy? Yes, I'm busy. It's a very chaotic service. And, uh, yeah, one shout is fine, but 15 of the shout at the same time. Pandemonium. It's such a mess that one diner's dish, the lamb, has been missed altogether. <laughs> I'm hoping it's going to arrive reasonably soon, because I'm, I'm very, very hungry at the moment. Alex. Hey, my lamb. I need one lamb, please. One he's lamb. Coming. He's Thank coming. Thank he's Thank coming. He's coming. OK? Don't rush the shark. OK? For a Michelin-star restaurant, this is unforgivable. Even worse, Bernard, the owner, is busy serving up excuses for his staff's cock-ups. Normally, a meal here, everything is in the middle of the table, so everybody's sharing. Uh, it's just unusually today, um, we've had to serve everything individually. Jesus. I don't know why, you, why you're doing that. They share a starter, it's fine, but the order of main course, I think that customer deserves it. The fact that he took the order down incorrectly is from the customer's fault. No, absolutely not. So we shouldn't not. be telling them that. I'd rather you just sort of hand in the air, Deal with it and move on. Okay. My apologies. Just one table six. Once the food arrives, most of my diners are blown away by Alex's amazing dishes. It is fantastic. The 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 lamb's tender, just wonderful. Okay. I had the lobster and it was absolutely fantastic. Um, I've never had lobster that's been fried before. Um, and it was a really nice contrast as well as having the strawberries and the grapes in there. The lobster was lovely. Very uh, subtle flavours of garlic and chilli, but yeah, amazing. End of service. And time to tell Kai what I thought. The customers that did get the food on time loved the food. It's quirky and it's very striking when it hits all those notes. But we have to remember that when customers are coming in for the first time, you've got to hold their hand every step of the way. That's where we've got to work on. Yeah. just got to keep working, keep working, sure. keep working, making it a little bit better every single time. Absolutely. But I know you can go further because you've done it with the food and you can do it with the service as well. Hit all those notes there, put them together, bang. You have an amazing restaurant. I'm scouring the country in a quest to find my very best restaurant. My coach load of 30 diners is about to hit the second Chinese restaurant battling for a place in the semi-finals of my nationwide competition. It's family run, you and you, in Blackburn. So many of you nominated them, you and you had to go into my top two Chinese. <laughs> it's got that, that energy, that vibe, and it's family run, run with great passion. You can feel that because they care about every little detail. Family is the most important part of this restaurant. I think, personally, it makes this restaurant what it is. You know, it, it, that's the heart and soul of the restaurant. It's not just a livelihood. It's more than that. It's a, it's a definite passion. Dad Charlie started out with a chippy over 30 years ago, before opening his first restaurant in 1989. He's 65. There's still flames in him. You know, he's like, he's quicker than me. There's a saying, 
Um, the older the ginger, the hotter it gets. Now all three of his children work in the business. Good work, good work. <laughs> what makes this restaurant stand out is that Charlie and his head chef, son Victor, source the very best local ingredients. The scallops are massive. Arrived um, this morning. They're beautiful. Thank you. You and you will have just two hours to serve all 30 of my diners a perfect meal. I'm excited. I'm ready. Tonight's dishes include hand-dived salt and pepper scallops, fillet steak with hoisin and chili bean sauce, and a luxurious stir-fried Dover sole. Absolutely delicious. Uh, it's cooked beautifully. Uh, for me, what that dish needs is just a touch more seasoning. Yeah? Thank you. Good. Thank you, boss. Side order with you, main course, sir. My diners look excited by what's on offer but I wish the front of house team would make a point of telling them how fantastic the raw ingredients are. Like salt and pepper scallops with asparagus and mushrooms. For all they know, the scallops could have come from the supermarket. It's Victor and Charlie's chance to show me they can handle this challenge. Let the food do the talking. Once that turbo wok is fired up, dishes start flying out the door. Amazing. Yeah. Wow, that's quick. It's just over two minutes from the first order coming in for food to leave the kitchen. Victor's brother and sister are joined front of house by at least eight other waiting staff who seem to do a lot of waiting. It seems to be a lot of people just milling about and not really paying the attention to the table. Are we having a beauty pageant in here? Look at all these waitresses in here. Blackburn's next top model. She's got the love. She's such a sexy girl. It's complete overkill, and half the time they don't even know where to put themselves. My main concern is the way the kitchen is working. Victor, the head chef, picks the ingredients. Another chef adds the sauce. Then it's Dad Charlie who does all the cooking. 65 years of age, he's there, pounding every dish. Just cooking, 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 and not even coming up for air. The old man's the only one doing all the work. Don't you feel guilty? That's the way he wants it to do it. Yeah, that's how he wants to do it. Charlie, huh? you want some help? Would yeah, you some yeah, help? yeah, yeah. In the kitchen, it's a little bit weird for me. The only one doing any work is your dad. He's control, control. Is he a control freak? Oh, uh, yeah. Is he? Yeah. He needs to let go a little bit. Yeah. He still thinks he's going to do one day a week at 90, seriously. Seriously? Yeah. Orders have already backed up by the time head chef Victor steps in to help with the cooking. There's something quite unique about seeing a father and son on the stove together, you know that? When they're not arguing. They're not arguing. Too busy to argue. Although dishes are now getting out, there's a problem. Right. A bit of soy sauce with this. A bit of soy sauce? Yeah, yeah I'll sort it for you, no problem. Thank you. No one's tasting anything, which is quite normal for the way they work as a Chinese kitchen, but. The young guy is now starting to cook. And also, Victor's cooking as well now, so you've got the same dish be cooked by three different individuals. So that's how things start to become inconsistent. I can't believe that Charlie and Victor are letting down their delicious and unique ingredients through lack of seasoning. They taste a little bit bland. Yeah, just not as tasty, but I've, I've had them before, and, you know, just, yeah. I would just expect it. Flavors. Yeah. Yeah. two different tables. Um, one table enjoyed the scallops, the other one felt that they were a little bit bland. So just make sure if somebody's going to cook it, they've got to taste it as well. If it needs a touch more salt. OK, Charlie? Thank you. Thank you. It's not just the scallops. They're also under seasoning their most expensive dish. Three plates of the £30 a head Dover sole have been sent back. Do me a favour, do me another Dover sole. What's wrong? Dover sole is under seasoned. Does oh, it taste it? It definitely needs more salt. What do you say? Calm me, calm me. At the beginning of the service, I mentioned that there was salt. Yeah, fish tastes delicious, but it's under seasoned. And three times tonight, you know, it's come back bland. You've got you to do it justice. Charlie's having to redo the sole. It's an expensive dish to get wrong so many times. Charlie, taste? Yeah. Much improved that. Yeah. When they hit their stride, you and you's food is extraordinary. What do you have? I had scallops to start with. Scallops, so how are they? Really nice, and the main the fillet steak was absolutely delicious. Yeah. Now the you family need to hear what I thought of tonight's service.
This is a first for me. I've never come across a Chinese restaurant that has such unique ingredients. And so, if you are going to Helen Back to source those ingredients, shout about it. I could cry on the back of the Dover Sole because I said to you when you cooked it for me earlier, yeah. it needed more seasoning. And it came back three times tonight. Taste it. Do it justice. Yeah, you're the chef. And your father's the sous chef. And tonight it looked like you were the apprentice and your father was the chef. And grab the reins and let him sit behind you. Well done. Thank you. Slow down. Now. All right. Slow down, man. Slow down. <laughs> if they home in on those small little details with the final seasoning across those dishes, and you've got something pretty phenomenal. Kai and you and you have cooked their hearts out, but both had their failings, and things are about to get a whole lot tougher. The coast trip really showed me what these Chinese competitors are made of, and now I've called both of them to a meeting with me. To find out how their restaurants run when I'm not breathing down their necks, I've been spying on them, and they have no idea. If you want to know how a restaurant treats an ordinary customer on an ordinary day, send in a secret diner. That's exactly what I do. They should get amazing food and excellent service. Nothing less is good enough. Sarah Durden Robertson has worked with me and other top chefs to create and perfect thousands of dishes. Is there any way you can turn the noise down a bit? Food critic Simon Davis is one of the best in the business and has judged food and service at thousands of restaurants. I'm allergic to those. I can't eat sultanas. It's one thing serving easy to please customers, but how will my competitors perform when my undercover diners are deliberately difficult and demanding? First up is Kai in Mayfair. In their first test, my customers didn't get a proper steer on Alex's ambitious menu. Has owner Bernard improved things since my last visit? That was a big test. Unknown to all of you, you've been tested twice. After I left Kai, I sent in my secret diner. And I need you to watch this. Yes, at one o'clock. Yeah. Yes. For starters, I've ordered wasabi prawns and soft shell crab, but I'm going to change my order once I've seen that he's put it through and I'm going to order the lamb shank. Sorry, can I change my order? Yeah. Started from, I'd like the um, lamb shank, lamb please. Shank. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Soft shell crab with chili and mango. Okay. Hi. Sorry. I asked to swap for the lamb shank. Oh, swap? Oh, yeah. I thought it was the additional order. You wanted no, 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 to cancel to, this? Okay? Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Sorry. Awesome. Thank you. So the kitchen's ended up cooking an extra dish because the waiter never said that it was an exchange. That's why he didn't come and ask. Seems to be a bit of a lack of communication between some of the front of house staff and the kitchen. What goes through your mind when you see that there, Bernard? Uh, I think part of the reason why we made a mistake is because it's not unusual for somebody to have three starters between two people. Oh my goodness, in a martini glass. That's not what I was expecting. Wow. Thank you. Did I read the menu right? That bears no resemblance to the dish that I was reading about. I'm really sorry. I just I can't believe that that's what I ordered. Is that the lamb? It's very weird. Could I have the soft shell crab instead? Soft shell crab, yeah. Thank you. It wasn't clear from the menu at all that that's what that dish comes like. Why are we serving lamb shank in a martini glass that's hot? It just seems so strange and such a bizarre thing to do. Uh, it's a fa fancy starter. Fancy starter? Jesus. Thank you. Thanks. I can't know. It's supposed to be what did it say the menu? Flaming table side. I thought the pork was supposed to arrive flaming at the table. No. 
Oh, was it there? Sorry, I missed it. So there's a great dramatic dish on the menu that has a reason to be great and dramatic. And they do it at the customer's back. I can't see it. My guests can't see it. It's completely pointless. I said, where did that happen? She said, oh, sorry, just behind you. What's the point of that? The issue we have with the Chinese rice wine flaming is that very often the flames are quite hard to see. No one can see the fucking flame. Because it doesn't give off a lot of flame. It's a little bit of fun, it's a bit of showmanship. I don't see anything wrong with that. There's a consistent strand through here that you're trying to be clever with the martini glass, the lamb shank, and now you're flambéing something that has got nothing to do with flavour. Don't damage what you've got by trying to be too clever. So is this your first time to try? Or? It is, yeah. I'm very sorry that that's not how things run. But, um, you, you, I'll take care of your bills, so that's fine. Oh, no, really? No, seriously, because that's, that's not um, how we do it. But that's extraordinarily kind. Yeah. I mean, the dishes have been delicious. That's yeah. really kind. Thank right. you. You know, that's somebody who clearly prides himself on the service they feel they ought to offer and on the food they want to hit the table. It has to be perfect or they're not happy, and he's really not happy. OK. Um, brilliantly handled at the end. Offering the whole thing on the house. I think the, the, the emotion I feel right now is more determination than disappointment. You've got to get your head down and make things better. I hope we can uh, win. Tonight, two fantastic restaurants are battling it out to become my best Chinese and win a place in the semi-finals of my nationwide restaurant competition. Yeah. Time for you and you to find out how they measured up when I sent in my secret spy. Unknown to all four of you, you've actually been tested twice. I sent in my secret diner, and this is what you saw. So here we are, you and you. I told the you family to focus on detail and to properly season the stunning ingredients they source. And I want to see them use the waiting staff wisely so they're not just hanging around. I booked a table. Uh, I, got, I got table name of Duncan for two yeah. people at 8 o'clock. Would have hoped to have been offered a drink by now. Having been here for five minutes, I know they're busy, but there's <laughs> quite a lot of staff as well. You can't see who's managing the place. It all feels a bit frantic. I really would like to have a drink, actually. I get rather annoyed. Can we order some drinks? I have to call over the waitress to get a drink. Which, given that to my right, there's four waiters and waitresses, and they've all got their backs to us. And I'm sure, sure they're busy. It's a busy night, but we yeah, need to... Ten minutes for a drink. Is that normal, they wait 10, 15 minutes? No, it's not. But that wasn't a normal Friday night, cos one of the kitchen hands was off ill. Yeah. Uh, so I had to go in <laughs> and help these guys. That's why yeah. I disappeared for so long. What you need to do is pay money for better staff and less of them that are more reliable. They brought out our staff just really quickly, which was admirable. But the problem is there's now a huge gap between starters and main quarters. They should bring the starters out a, bit, a little bit later, and then there wouldn't be such a glaring gap. What they should be doing now is coming up to us and just having a quiet word and you know, saying, I'm very sorry, blah, blah, blah. And you know what? That would completely dilute the situation. Completely ignored. Completely ignored. It becomes an insult where they become offended. Like he said, diffuse it. Don't be sorry, yeah. That's OK. OK, thank you. This Dover sole with sugar snap peas and carrots looks actually rather rather bland. Um, and the fish itself. It's pretty nondescript. Hi there. I just this Dover sole doesn't really taste of much. It needs some much more seasoning. Yeah. When you've got customers that are sat waiting over half an hour for food, it's got to be perfect. That was dealt with quite well, so I'm going to send this back again and ask to change the dish. <laughs> I still don't like it, I'm afraid. Right, I'll change it to something else for you, Do you mind? Not at all. I'm so sorry, after no. all that effort. I've complained a hell of a lot in restaurants, but that is the best I've almost ever seen it dealt with. Ten out of ten for dealing with a very, very tricky customer. Brilliantly handled. And he's fussy. Beautifully done. 
Oh, I really, 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 really like that. This strawberry samosa, it's worth the trip alone, seriously. I've never heard such an amazing compliment to Chinese desserts. Fantastic. Really good. As a dining experience, it had a quite, a, quite a sluggish start, but it's just accelerated, and I've now reached a crescendo where I think this is one of the, one of the best Chinese restaurants I've been to in many years. What a strong finish, and he left on a high. We've got this far now, and we just really want to. I'm ready to explode. I'm ready to win this competition. I'm going to take this and hope get to the end of this competition, you know. My two best Chinese restaurants have one final chance to really deliver in my competition. I'm taking them out of their comfort zones and into the kitchen of my own Michelin-starred restaurant. I've asked each chef to create one amazing dish for 20 guests. The test here today is about quality and consistency. Every single plate they produce must be perfect. Their performance will win one of them a place in the semi-finals, the other will be eliminated from the competition. The pressure will either make or break them. I've seen the name on the menu. And Gordon's three-star Michelin restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just unbelievable. Just want to win this. We'll cock our heart out. Oh, me and Vic, they will definitely try our best to make the, the, the diner happy. Yes! This is an amazing battle about to take place now because we've got two completely contrasting restaurants. I want the quality to stand out, create something magical. The sad news is there's only one of you going through to the semi-final. Make sure it's you. Good luck to both of you. Thank you. They must create their dish using the finest quality beef as their main ingredient, and I'm expecting great things from both teams. It's not just me they have to impress. Some highly distinguished guests will also judge both restaurants' dishes, including Dei Tao Shong, a world authority on Chinese cuisine and respected businesswoman Mei Sim Lai, OBE. I've also invited each restaurant's front of house team. For the chefs, there is nowhere to hide. I'm expecting culinary perfection. OK, on order, four covers, table six. Kai, four beef and ginger. Four. Yes, sir. OK. Uh, yes, chef will be great. Yes, chef. Thank you. Is it easy if I share like that? Is that, will that? Will that make it any easier? No, tell me. No, is it? Would you? Is it easy? Fine, yeah, sure. OK, good. No, just in case. At Kai, Alex is a gifted and passionate mastermind elevating modern Chinese food to new heights. Alex and Wing, his sous chef, hope to enchant my guests with a creation you'd never find on a high street Chinese menu. They're making beef sirloin with ginger and spring onion pesto, served with broccolini, bamboo stalks and pumpkin. Is accompanied by spiced rice and a soy reduction. How are you going to cook the beef? I, I, I pan seal. Yep. Then I cut into the rectangular. Yep. Then I finish it in the oven around one and a half minutes. It's so nice to see my kitchen. And how nice is that? You've been here five minutes, you haven't shouted. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Excellent. An order. You and you, two covers away, table three, please. Two stunning Wagyu beef. Yes, chef. Yes, sir. Thanks, Charlie. In contrast, you and you is going for a more classic dish, wok seared Kobe beef with sweet soy sauce, lime, garlic, and ginger. Kobe beef is an amazingly tender cut of meat, but the magic in this dish lies with the flavoring. That's what we've always done, that's um, keeping things simple, using fresh, really good ingredients, you know. I've been waiting to see if Victor, the head chef, can live up to the title and take control from his father. <laughs> Victor, I want you tasting today. Every fucking thing you put on that plate. I want to see you taste. I yes, need yes. to see you taste. Yeah? Yes, yes. A lot on your shoulders right now. And that standard has to be met by you today. Yes, yeah. Victor has the pressure of the competition and the desire to impress his dad resting on his shoulders. He needs to stay calm and in control. 
But for my first table of four, Victor dishes up just one plate. That's the first beef, yes? No, just missing two more, chef. Sorry. Missing what? Just missing three more on there, chef. So, is that three in there? Yeah. How long is that going to take? Three minutes, chef. Just finishing. No, how long is it going to take? Four minutes, chef. Four minutes. Well, that's going to be fucked by four minutes. What do you want me to do? Serve that? Or are you going to do four fresh portions again? There you go, choice, you know? Serve that, chef. Come on, Victor. I know you can do better than this. I can't just serve one portion. What do you want me to do? Do you want to take it back? I can't just... Serve one. Two yeah. minutes and I'll have this one up, chef. Service, please. Go with that, please, yeah? Is there any rice? Is that the... No, rice is coming. Felt to say one van birds. I'll have that. Oh, come on, guys. Listen, just stop. Come here two seconds. What the fuck are you doing? What is that? Yeah, sure. I, it, this is your moment. Do you yeah, understand? Sure. This yeah, is your sure. standards. Yeah. So get that back in there and split it between four plates. Come on, guys. I know you can do better than this. But if you talk to each other, the rice comes at the same time. I say one bad it's not coming. Fucking hell, guys. Bad start by you and you. I mean, completely disorientated, no teamwork, and they're father and son, for God's sake. Today, they look like two strangers in a kitchen. Come here two seconds, you. This is not a fucking rehearsal. Do you understand? Yes, sir. I can't just send out one portion. Yes, sir. I've got a dining room full of guests out there. Yes, sir. Listen to me. Yes. And more importantly, slow down yes, and come to the hot plate together. Okay. Come on. Yes, go on. On the other side of the kitchen, Alex is also feeling the pressure. Kai, two portions away. Yes. Alex, two, please. Stand by the plate. Look at me. Look at me. Yes, chef. Four more beef. Yes, That's chef. it. Thank you. After that, it's two beef. Yes, chef. Thank you. Fucking hell. Two trays in the hot plate, please. Alex isn't communicating with me or his sous chef wing. Fucking hell, come on, guys. And this complex dish needs perfect coordination. Alex, look at me. If we can get a little bit organised, yeah, so the beef doesn't hang around too long on the yes. hot plate, yeah? It's got to go. Yes, OK. I can't sit here too long. Yes, it's got to work together a little bit more. Yeah, chef. Yeah? yeah? So you're putting it on, it's taking about four or five minutes. Yeah. But it's got to go. We can't keep yeah. it back too long, yeah? Otherwise, yeah. it's going to be cold. Yes, chef. Ready to go. go. Service, please. Alex's food looks amazing, but he seems to be struggling to cope in my kitchen without his large team. You've got chicken stock boiling over on the hot plate, please. OK, fine. Uh, I'll be ring. Let's take it Let's go take That's the it. fucking pan. I want to wear that shit off there as well. Stop you. Go you. Let's go. Go, go, go. You happy with that? All right. I'll be the... Yes. Yep. Go, please. Let's go. Table two. Where's the sauce? Good. Thank you. Sauce poured left-hand side. Alex, yeah. I want all the pots and pans off the floor. In my kitchen here in 50, I've never had an accident. And today, I'm not going to have one. Yeah. Let's go. Jesus Christ. Very nice. That looks beautiful. Service, please. Go. Table one, please, yeah? Thank you. Done a fantastic job. I'm, I'm still a bit nervous, but you know, with, with seeing this now, I, I feel a lot better. Okay, Victor. Yeah, four wagyu beef away, table one. Yeah, all at the same time. Two rice, two vegetables, and two yes, stunning chef. wagyu beef. Yes. Yes. Thank chef. you. Come on and look at me. I want you to take a grip. Solid. Hold those reins. Yeah, and get this thing back on track. Yes. yes. And make sure every plate is absolutely perfect, please. You know, your mother sat out there. You know that, don't you? Yes, sir. Yeah. OK. Four beef, please. Stand by. Come on. Nice now. Nice now. Let's go, please. Let's go. Thank Table you one. That, Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Gordon just settled the nerves and then know what I need to do. You and you have come back strong and they've got that focus going on now. Plate after plate of Victor's mouth-watering beef is finally being served. The work said wagyu beef. It smells amazing. It tastes good. It tastes good. The beef is delicious. <laughs> Very tender. What do you think? The whole thing just completely melts in your mouth, doesn't it? I'm really proud of my dad and my brother for 
just getting this far and what they've cooked today has been amazing. In a kitchen they're not so used to as well. Our kids have definitely done us proud. That's table, yes? Yes, chef. Yeah. Yes, chef. Yes, Service, please. Let's go. Spotless. Thank chef. you. Yes, chef. Thank Very you, nice. chef. Well done. Good, good. Sit yes, down, yes? Yes. Well done. Service is over, and it's time to discover what my distinguished guests think about these two extraordinary dishes, starting with Victor's. Nice to see you. Oh, Ladies, welcome. Best, thank you very much. This is a real treat. How was the Wagyu? Wonderful. Wonderful. It was so tender and mm -hmm. special. It worked very well. The Wagyu beef, how was that? Extraordinary, mm -hmm. like no beef I've ever tasted before. Really? The uh, you and you one have more authentic flavour to me. The Kai dish. Not only the presentation, but the, the flavour is, is much better as well. I think it was the better dish, mainly because of the tenderness of the beef, the accompanying dishes, particularly the rice. The, the rice was outstanding. My diner's comments are testament to the incredible standards of both Kai and Yu and Yu's food. But this competition is about more than just one dish. Both these fantastic Chinese restaurants have had their ups and downs throughout this heat. But now it's time for me to choose between them. Winning today is very important for me uh, uh, because uh, I really want to make a proud uh, to, to my family as uh, one of uh, top uh, Chinese chefs uh, in London. But if I beat Kai's, it'd be unbelievable. I mean, they're such a fantastic restaurant and their dish is unbelievable, you know, so we can only see, you know, um, if we beat him, it, it would be unbelievable. Only one of them can go through to the semi finals. I've got to make a very difficult choice. My two top Chinese chefs, Alex and Victor, have finished the service of their lives at my free Michelin starred restaurant. They've both proved themselves exceptional competitors, but one team has to go. It's time to taste this incredible food cooked here today, starting with a dish created by Alex from Kai in Mayfair. The sauce, the beef, it's been marinated for 24 hours, rice wine. Beef's delicious. Sauce is very, very strong. Pumpkin's very crunchy. Bamboo shoot. Mm. Crunchy, slightly acidic, but delicious. You and you, Wagyu beef. Mm. Mm. It just melts in your mouth. It's delicious. I mean, it is really delicious. My God, it's got the texture of foie gras. It needs the greens with it. It's very rich but it's incredibly Moorish, and you feel like it's done with a, a level of authenticity. They both hold an amazing flavour. Who has the edge over this one? Both these teams have cooked their hearts out, but there can only be one winner. OK. I brought you here today for one reason and one reason only, to do something extraordinary, to do something that was out of your comfort zone and into a completely different league. Kai, the dish, you looked at it and it was like it'd come out of a, a Gucci handbag. It was all precise and just beautifully done. The beef, phenomenal. Loved the marinade. Intelligent, smart, and it had that kind of wow. Criticizing the dish, I would have cooked the pumpkin for another two minutes. It's a little bit crunchy inside. You and you, the Wagyu, absolutely beautiful, because you, you played to your strengths. What would I change? It was simple. Today, I didn't think you'd go simple. I thought you'd go a little bit more, a little bit more daring. But this competition is not going to be won or lost on one dish alone. I'm looking for the best restaurant. Great food, great service, great atmosphere, friendly approach, and something that you want to go back 
to that restaurant for that phenomenal experience. <sighs> the restaurant that's going through to the semi-final, based on everything I've seen, tasted, and been part of, is... You and you. Oh. Continue those fireworks. Yeah. You deserve to be out there. Love the fireworks. Love it, love it, love it. Good job. You have an amazing restaurant. Thank you. Yeah, look after it. Of course, I'm absolutely gutted that we're not getting through. The answer wasn't the answer we would have liked to hear, but we have to move on and keep going with, with what we do every single day. Well done. Really well done. I said you had a lot of weight on your shoulders today, and you pulled it off. And it wasn't just based on that dish, it was based on the whole experience. Really well done. You should be incredibly proud. Yeah. A bloody good job. Okay. Really well done. Thank you. OK? Thank you. Well done, well done, well done. I'm very happy. It feels amazing. Uh, I can't wait to tell me more. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's just good. I can't believe. We're, we're very proud of you. You don't have to say Yeah, that. I'm all of you. Yeah, you do a good job. You're a good teacher. Yeah, you do a good job. Very good. Good job, Good job. <laughs> really sorry to say goodbye to Kai, and that chef's a bit of a mad genius. However, you and you, great restaurant. What an amazing family, and they're, they're consistent and united. 